Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do mid-August readings for all the zodiac signs. Keep in mind that these are general readings, take what applies, if it applies, and you know what to do with the rest of it. A big thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel, you guys rock! And if anyone would like to have a personal reading with me, all that info is in the description box below. If you're new to my channel, then welcome! And make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon. That way you get all the notification for all the new stuff that I put out there. And if you are returning, thank you for sticking with me on this journey. Also, every Wednesday I go live, so come join me and my crew to do a look in on all the zodiac signs as well as a random reading. And a whole bunch of other chit chat going on too. So come be a part of it. 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time every Wednesday. Okay, so this reading is going to be for uh, the element of air. This is going to be for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So let's start off with Aquarius. I do these a little bit differently than I do the uh, beginning of the month readings. But every sign gets a different deck. So Aquarius, let's see what's going on with you in August. Mid-August 2021, first card that I want to flip out in my hand was the Knight of Cups. Now that's a messenger of something heartfelt, something sentimental. Could be that compliment, being asked out, or it could be an apology. But it's something sincere. It comes straight from the heart. No smoke, no mirrors. So Aquarius, it's either to be the energy you're putting out there or the energy coming towards you. Friendship, partnership, love, ship, career, however it applies. Hmm, a lot of signs are getting this. The next card is the Ace of Pentacles. And this is the universe giving you an opportunity, whether you take it or not. For maybe the material things, see here, taste, touch, prove stuff, money, of course. But it's also about the things that money can't buy. Love, respect, loyalty, and honesty. And the next card is that you have the Four of Pentacles, but in reverse. In the upright, known as a miser card. But it's also about somebody not voicing their opinion, you know, not saying what's on their mind. In the reverse, somebody here is not going to stay silent. They're not going to keep it to themselves, so to speak. Now, this could be Aquarius, you know, the energy you're putting out there or coming towards you. You know, maybe somebody's, you know, saying something that is very sincere, but the information is valuable. You benefit from it from, for whatever the reasons are. It could be a side hustle. It could be a raise, maybe even a new job. But somebody saying something, you know, Maybe it's the words that you've been wanting to hear from someone. And now they won't stay silent anymore. And that has more worth and value, Aquarius, to you. Ooh. Aquarius, you get the Gemini card of lovers. Now, this is a soulmate connection, a deep bond. Finish each other's sentences. The other side of this card, too, here, Aquarius, is life-changing decisions. You know, maybe the opportunity comes to change your career. This is only an example. You know, because something else, you know, is more what you wanted to explore. And maybe somebody says something now. Maybe the opportunity arises. And you don't keep that to yourself. You could be sharing this information with a partner. Or them, you. But definitely value valuable information, and somebody is just not going to sit on it. Hmm. And it comes in with sincerity. Hmm. It could come in and make you see something from a different point of view, Aquarius. You get the hanged man in reverse. Now, in the upright, this is feeling stuck. Not going forward. Not going back. But in this suspended you know, time frame, the hanged man sees something from a different point of view, maybe through somebody else's eyes. And that's what gets him unstuck. Aquarius. 
this is getting off the wheel. This is things, you know, progressing and moving, not feeling, you know, stuck anymore. The bottom of the deck, wow. Aquarius, you get the three of cups here. This is about rejoicing, you know, celebrating. Could be a festival fair, a family affair. But it's a reuniting card. Maybe there's some friends that you haven't seen in a while. You know, you have a barbecue or just hang out. It could be anything like that. But reuniting. Ooh, Aquarius. Hmm. So somebody comes. I mean, it could be a water sign. doesn't have to be. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But somebody comes with an offer. This could even be an invitation for this. And it is heartfelt. It is. It's meant, Aquarius. There's no smoke and mirrors. And this is a valuable opportunity. Whether you receive valuable information or business adventure, however it applies. But it's an opportunity to have something valuable here. And somebody's just not going to stay silent about it anymore. Now, this, this offer could be coming from the person doesn't want to stay silent. Or it could be you, Aquarius, that, you know, this information comes in and you speak your mind, you voice your opinion. However it goes, you know, it could be a life-changing decision here, Aquarius. It puts you on a different path, maybe the path you're supposed to be on. Or just to, you know, experience something. But it brings a closer bond to someone. And that right there, Aquarius, is very valuable. And it makes you see something from a different point of view. And you run with it, Aquarius. You use it. Because whatever valuable thing here... It makes you see something from a different point of view. Maybe you couldn't see it before or didn't see it before. But now the light bulb goes on. Now remember, this could be in friendship, partnership, loveship, career, family, however it applies. But if this is the invitation, and plus it seems like it's going to be a good time, Aquarius, accept the invitation. There could be more here than just, you know, seeing old friends or family, something very valuable could come out of it. So, wow, Aquarius, you'll have to let me know. Intriguing. Okay, let's go to Gemini. And we're going to use the Hanson Robert deck for the Gemmies. Let's try that album. Okay, mid-August 2021 for Gemini. Energy around Gemini, what is coming around or happening? Hmm. Well, we have the Five of Cups in reverse. I like this one in reverse. In the upright, this is would-haves, could-haves, should-haves. This is remorse, regret, some sorrow. But in... The reverse, it's coming out of a state of, you know, remorse. Or maybe, you know, kicking one's butt. Feeling guilty for some reason, Gems. Now remember, the energy could be coming from you, towards you, in any one of those ships that I mentioned earlier. But this is coming out of feeling that way, Gems. Like... Feeling like something was your fault and, you know, realization, it wasn't. That's just an example. Because now you have the King of Swords. Now, here you are, Gems, as well as Aquarius in Libra. And this person plays no games. He means what he says. He says what he means. You know, this is about facts, figures, and numbers. And the emotions are in the back seat. This is all, you know, about the intellect and communicating clearly. 
So, Jemmy's, maybe there is some sort of communication either coming from you that releases somebody from some sort of guilt or remorse. Or somebody comes, you know, and clearly, you know, maybe sets the record straight. And again, someone's free of any remorse. Now you have the Sun card that came in reverse. Now, this is the most positive card in the whole deck. Dear Gems, feeling, you know, alive and very positive. In the reverse, this could be depression. You know, your glass is half empty instead of being half full. Just not feeling vibrant or, you know, not feeling your best. And Gems, it could be because, you know, maybe there's negative energy around you and that could be draining and taxing. So maybe, you know, somebody comes in with some clarity here and you don't have to feel that way anymore. This could be information, valuable information. And now you have the two of rods. What are you going to do with this information here, Gems? Now, in a lot of decks, this is considered, you know, the crossroad. You gotta go left, you gotta go right. I like the way it's depicted here. There are two rods. One is in the cement, and one is not. One is an action that's been taken, you know, over and over. And the other one is a new course of action. You know, something that hasn't been done before. And because of this action, this new action, he's got the world in his hand. This could open up opportunities, you know, people, places, faces. World being the oyster there, Gems. Hmm. I think this gives you an option. Because not only does it, you know, release you from, you know, the would-haves, the could-haves. But it takes away some sort of, I think, dark cloud. And now, now you can see what's on the horizon. Now you know, or you will know, or you do know, that there are other possibilities here. You know, maybe it didn't seem before because, you know, your energy was different. Ooh. Ah. Communication. Maybe a little spying. You get the page of swords. You have gems. And again, this comes from your court. This could be somebody trying to check out, you know, your social media. But it also could be, you know, gems, you jumping on the internet and getting info. You know, checking something out. Viewing possibilities of whatever this communication is. You know. Getting your facts and your figures and, you know, ducks in a row. What's on the bottom of the deck? <laughs> and going towards it. You get the six of uh, swords here. And this is moving away to karma waters. Leaving a situation behind and going to a potential better one. Something could have been turbulent. Which might have caused some what and could have. Now, Gems, you know, life is a learning process. I don't know one person that's made the right decision their whole life. you got to make mistakes. That's how you know the mistakes. And you learn from them. But this almost, you know, seems to me that gets you out of a state and puts you, you know, back inside the sunlight, maybe? Or in the sunlight? Where something didn't look, you know, maybe plausible or maybe doable. Well, I start thinking again. Excuse the phone. Because somebody comes in and sets something straight. Again, gems, either it's you, them, them, you. And it brings your outlook back to maybe positive. Because anything can happen here. And then, you start seeing if this is true. This is possible. 
Because whatever this is, this info that comes in, makes it, you know, very capable for you, Gems, to leave something behind and go to something better. Wow. Very interesting. Ooh, good luck with that, Gems. You have to let me know. Okay, and let's do Libra. And I'm going to use the spellcasters. Oops. This is a pretty cool deck. I resonate well with them. I resonate well with all of mine. So Libra, mid-August 2021. What's shaking with the leaves? Hmm. Libra, you have the nine of pentacles, but it came in reverse. Now, in the upright, this is, you know, being self-reliant, self-efficient, you know, energy here. Very um, entrepreneurial. But in the reverse, this could be feeling more dependent than independent. Could be a financial, you know, bind. It could be the lack of money. Hmm. Feeling more dependent. And, you know, this could be about, you know, maybe you don't like where you work. But, you know, it pays the bills, so you stay there. If something gets, you know, old or stale. That's just an example. Muldane, I guess I want to say. But you can't quit. You know, you have to stick something out. Now you have judgment, but in the reverse. Now judgment is about hearing the call, rising up from the ashes, coming back a better version of you like a phoenix. It's also about, you know, a second go at something or a reconciliation. In the reverse, that has not been determined yet. Hmm. Now, Leaves, maybe there's something I'm kind of thinking of, you know, if you were thinking of reinventing yourself. Maybe it's just a thought. Maybe there is no actions to say, I'm going to do this. No final decision yet. Now, it could be about Maybe starting something over again. Maybe there was a failed attempt at something. And now you're willing to give it another try. It could be a reconciliation. And leaves, whether this is the energy you're putting out there, the energy coming towards you, whether it's friendship, partnership, love ship, you know, family, however it applies, somebody might realize how dependent they were on you. You know, absence makes the heart grow fonder. I don't know why I'm saying that. I really, I really don't like that saying. But you know, you can't miss something until it's gone. And maybe somebody's, you know, coming to that conclusion. How much maybe they depended on you or needed you? Now this could go both ways too. Hmm. Now you get the three of cups. There's that reuniting. You know, rejoicing, celebrating card. This could be a concert. This could be a festival. This could be a fair, a family event, a reunion. Just hanging out with some friends. But it's a good time. And now you have the Seven of Cups here. Now, the Seven of Cups can come in as confusion. That's the mist there. But all your choices and all your options are above that. So this is getting through some sort of confusion. Or something maybe you didn't see clearly. And then you get the Two of Pentacles. The Juggling Act. Pro and conning something. Should I? Shouldn't I? Will I? Won't I? Hmm. Rising above confusion. Because something does come clear, I think. Maybe it's to help 
through family members or friends that help you see something clearly and now you're thinking pro and conning something. Now that could be juggling two jobs, two situations, two people. Bottom of the deck. Oops. It's upside down. Yeah, oh, I love this card. It's a star card. And this is a wish being granted. Divine intervention, things going on behind the scenes, a blessing in disguise. It's to let you know, Leaves, that, you know, the universe hears you and your guides are with you. This might be the blessing in disguise, Libra. You know, if you were feeling, you know, unappreciated or undervalued, you know, maybe it's starting to hit someone here that they need you there you know whether it's in friendship partnership you know work i think they're in the process of realizing it libra even though i haven't made a final decision they're getting there step by step they they realize how much they did or do depend on you your importance, you know, in the equation. And it could be a reconciliation or, you know, a reconcile. A second go at something. Meeting up with old friends. And that could be it too, leaves it, you know, maybe the value of friendship, you know, maybe was taken for granted. It could be that. But having fun. No matter what this is. And you rise above any type of confusion there was before. And now you see options. And now you see choices clearly. This could be, you know, getting the opinions, you know, or somebody else's uh, view from a different angle. And it kind of makes sense. Leaves, no matter what this is, I think it brings you back to, you know, there's only, not only one Thing to do but you got choices you don't have to stick with one thing you get options and if this is you know anything about you know your value to someone oh they get it they get it leaves you know because maybe it's you know a karmic lesson that you're part of the solution and not part of the problem and maybe somebody had to, you know, check themselves, take a look at what you bring to the table. You, them, them, you. And I think that something can be valued again. You know what I mean? Knowing your worth. And them knowing your worth. And getting back onto, you know, that self reliant. Self-efficient energy again. Because now there's not just one party. Both parties are on the same page. So, wow. Interesting there. So, that is what I have for all the air signs. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. Until then, take care.